strategist. Are you thrilled as I am? What do you mean, no? Come on. All right. So I've had people that were wondering, what the heck? Why can't I see the troops I want to see where I want to see them? All right, let's get to it. All right. I'm going to pull up this one. And they said, oh, my, there's a problem. My troops are only the best troops I have are available to put on to my uh, heroes. Well, the way you can do that, so look, look, I'm going to pull these off, pull these off, pull these off, okay? Look here on the bottom part of here, on the bottom part of the row, it says warriors, see it? Under it is where you see your tiered troops. Yes, my one tier one troops are ahead of my other ones. That's okay. You can... You can scroll over, see how you scroll, and you get to your other troops. That's how you found your other troops. So, that's how you do it. You just take them, put your finger on it, put it up wherever you want to put it, and then you modify it down to two. That's what I do on my, my defense. See? Just like that. That's how you do it. Now then, heroes. How do I get my heroes where I want them? Say that this Q was out of energy. And you wanted to move your best heroes to another Q. What you do is you put your finger on it and pull down. See, it comes out. Put your finger on it, pull down. Put your finger on it, pull down. Now you want to put troops up there, right? Or you want to put your heroes up there. How you do it? Put your finger on it. Push it up. Put your finger on it. Not the same one, though. Ah, that didn't work right. And that's what happens if you do it wrong. It just kind of gets confused. So let's go back to where we were. Heroes. That one. That one. See how it worked? You just put them on there. Now then, once you leave it, it saves. So now say I want to come down here to this one. And I want to move these guys over and put another hero in. I just got to press the hero thing. And I take my uh, whatever one I want to. I'm going to put this one. He's going to take over, see? You can either do it like that, or you can put it back like this. Or you can... If you really want to get somebody mad when they're attacking you, put green T1s in there. Green Tier 1 troops. I mean, Tier 1 heroes. They're easy. They're easy to beat. And they're like, kind of like, when someone hits you, you can say, look... You're not worth my time. I'm not going to use my best my best heroes on you. There's really no reason. Okay, so you see how that is? You just move it around. Each one of these cues have 100 stamina. See the stamina? Right there. It's the second one below. Destructive power. It says 100-100, 100-100, 100-100. Every time... You use this to hit barbarians, whatever level it is, it's going to cost you 20. Now, my question is, why, if you can hit a higher level, or if you have members of your alliance that are your clan that can hit a higher level, why in the world would you ever hit a level 1? I wouldn't. I would wait for the, the one that can do it, the higher one for me, or I wait for the, or I could to see one I could do to myself. The best thing that you can do is to use and is to hit animals. Animals gives you experience, re 